In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily add drum pads to any of your plugins using Rompler. Okay, so now we're inside of Rompler. This is what it looks like when you first load it up. We're gonna go ahead and clear the GUI by going up to the top left under edit, choose clear GUI. We'll go ahead and click okay. Now we're ready to load in a new background image. So we're gonna go ahead and load in a background image that I have in some of our asset packs. We'll go into pre-made. Uh, gray with bars perfect and now what we're gonna do is click the on button and now we have a nice uh, background image and what you could do to start adding your pads it's really simple you right click scroll down until you see drum pad and voila just like that and what we'll do is if you um, have your drum pad selected all you have to do is if you're on Mac you click on command D if you're on PC you choose control D and then it will duplicate it just like that duplicates those pads just like that voila boom and then what we'll do is let's make another row of those pads so we'll go ahead and copy let's see boom just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and command D again click on this pad and command D again voila just like that, now they're all looking good. And now here's the key part. So under MIDI note, when whenever a user presses on their keyboard, that specific note, that pad will light up. So I chose C3, which is note 60 for that first one. For the next one, we'll choose 61, which is C sharp. Then we're gonna choose 63, note 64. 65 which is F and 66 which is F sharp just like that um, now to finish out this plugin we'll add a drop down menu just so we have an instrument browser here and let's go ahead and add a VU meter perfect now we're ready to go ahead and add in a sample so I could drag in a sample so that whenever those pads are played, a sample is being triggered. And drag that out. And then we're ready to go ahead and export. So you go up to File, Export, Rompler Plugin, choose Mac AU. We can name it whatever you want to name it. And then export as plugin and you're ready to drag that dot component file right into your components folder ready to load up in your DAW. 